Good morning, everyone. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. I, I first wanted to thank uh, Aurea for the invitation, and I wanted to thank everybody in the room for, for taking time out of your busy day to, uh, to spend the day with us, so thank you. Um, over the next 20 minutes, I will share six consumer insights, um, so consumer insights around trends that, that we're seeing through behavior on Realtor.ca and through different research initiatives. And, and my goal for the next 20 minutes is for everybody to leave the session um, having learned one new thing about uh, a consumer trend or something new uh, about Realtor.ca that you can take back to your business. So let's jump right in. Trend number one, growth of the do-it-yourself movement. So this trend does not come as a surprise. Um, we live it every day, whether it's self-diagnosing uh, our symptoms, booking travel, uh, banking online. Uh, we see brands like uh, Home Depot use the do-it-yourself uh, movement as well in their marketing. Uh, just check out their slogan, you can do it, uh, we can help. So how does the do-it-yourself movement impact realtors? Well, here are a couple interesting insights from our last Great Expectation study that we conduct every five years that looks at consumer expectations vis-a-vis uh, -vis realtors. Um, so insight number one, 65% of consumers begin their search without a realtor. So again, this is not, um, this is not a big surprise. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, a football game where consumers um, used to want the realtor to help them take the football the whole length of the field to score a touchdown. And now consumers want realtors to help with the last 20 yards. However, that touchdown is, uh, is still very important and, and valuable. Um, in terms of a second insight, 34% believe that it has become uh, easier to buy or sell a home uh, than it was 10 years ago. And that's up from 24% uh, just five years ago. So why, why do a third of consumers feel that uh, the buying and selling process uh, has become less difficult? Well, these are the top uh, reasons that, uh, that they've provided. So internet resources, more info, easier financing. Um, some mentioned that uh, realtors are doing a better job today, so that's, that's great. Um, a third said that the process was the same, which leaves the other third that feels that the process uh, has gone more difficult. And these are the reasons uh, that were given by this, this one third. Um, and as you can see, a, a value proposition can definitely be built around um, these things. So um, more regulations, um, higher prices, so your, your knowledge of different neighborhoods in, in Oakville is definitely very valuable. Uh, too much information, so we had one third that said uh, it, it was easier because there's a lot of information. One third is saying there's too much information, so they need help to, to make sense of it all. Uh, fear of unqualified inspectors and other professionals uh, were also given as reasons. So these are all consumer, so, so these are all concerns around market issues and the process of buying and, and selling real estate. So um, both CREA and the National Association of Realtors in the U.S. have built campaigns around these consumer pain points. Um, you might have seen some of the ads on TV, the one with the, the bikers from this year or the one uh, with the SWAT team from last year. Um, this is one that uh, um, was actually designed for the web, uh, so it's currently uh, available on YouTube, so you might not have seen it, so let's, let's run that one too. It looks like you're thinking about selling your house without a realtor, and you probably want to skip this ad. Well, you can't, because using a realtor is not something you should skip. Do you want to skip expert advice on what buyers are really looking for? Do you want to skip having your paperwork done correctly? Do you want to skip using market knowledge to set the right asking price? Skip using a realtor and the largest transaction of your life might be one you regret. Click below to find a realtor near you. Great. So this video is on YouTube. So is the biker one from TV. Uh, even the, the uh, clip with uh, Phil Dumphy, that's all available on YouTube. So you can grab these videos, place them on your website or your, uh, yeah, uh, your Facebook pages and, and uh, easily share them around. Uh, trend number two, on demand. So services like Uber are creating expectations in the mindset of consumers for on-demand services that are convenient. Um, Amazon Dash Buns is uh, another example. Has anybody seen these little buns? You can actually have these for different products around the house. So uh, in this case, if you run out of tide, you hit the button, 
and it automatically places an order with Amazon, and the next day you're delivered uh, tied. Um, so yes, people are actually uh, using this, and it, it's fueling the expectation for, uh, for on-demand services. So how can you bridge the gap between consumer expectations for on-demand and what you are realistically able to deliver in a, in a really busy day? Um, the consumer panel uh, did, take, talk about, uh, did talk a bit about uh, uh, electronic signatures. So that's definitely uh, one place to start to, uh, uh, to provide uh, more of an on-demand experience. Uh, and uh, electronic signatures is now legal uh, in Ontario uh, to use for, uh, for agreements of purchase and sale. Um, you can also make it easier for consumers to find you and know how to uh, connect with you. Um, who's checked out their Realtor.ca profile page in the last month? There's one hand, great. So everybody in this room has a page, uh, a profile page on Realtor.ca. Um, so I do encourage you to have a look. What we do is we pull the information from uh, your MLS profile. Um, so whatever you put in there in terms of your contact information, your picture, uh, this is what will appear on, on this new profile page. 50% um, of realtors don't have a picture on this page. So I do encourage you to, uh, uh, to have a picture, put your contact information. I was just speaking with your real estate board pretty soon. Uh, you'll be able to add to your profile languages spoken, uh, areas of uh, specialty, designations. Um, whatever you can, populate your profile page, take advantage of it. The Find a Realtor tool is used all the time by consumers and uh, uh, by realtors uh, across Canada and globally. Uh, so if somebody's looking for a realtor that uh, speaks Italian in Oakville, they will go to realtor.ca and make that search. So just make sure that you put as much information as you can uh, in that page. Uh, number three, enhanced experiences. So once a consumer lands on a property listing, viewing the images is where uh, much of their time is spent. But consumers now expect more than just images, so they're looking for things like video tours, 3D views, detailed floor plans. Um, so just, you know, adding a, a virtual tour to your listing is a great way to, uh, to track more, uh, more quali quality leads. If somebody takes the time to, to look at a 3D tour uh, and, and they contact you, they're probably a more serious lead than somebody who's, uh, who's just browsing. And when it comes to virtual reality, the, the future has arrived. You've probably seen uh, these uh, VR goggles. They're going to be a very uh, popular Christmas gift this year. It, it's just a matter of time before you and a client who's in a, uh, being in different locations will put on these uh, uh, VR glasses and will actually visit uh, a property together. And this will be uh, uh, very uh, uh, true for if you're working with clients from other parts of the country or, uh, or even globally. We're, we're also seeing interest for this type of content grow on, uh, on Realtor.ca. Um, so what you have here, um, these are different types of content on a standard listing page on Realtor.ca and the amount of clicks that they're getting. So in the past six months, pictures have been clicked 39 million times. Um, the second most popular piece of content that's being uh, used on those pages is multimedia links. So when a realtor uploads a YouTube video or a, a virtual tour to realtor.ca, it appears as a, a, a multi-media uh, uh, link. Um, and despite the fact that less than a quarter of listings on realtor.ca uh, currently have um, um, that type of content, have a multimedia link, it, it's ranked number two. And it's ranked above uh, things like demographics, uh, add to, I mean, these are all things that every single listing has. Uh, yet uh, multimedia link is number two. Trend number four, uh, Canadian real estate is global. So we're seeing more and more visits to Realtor.c from outside of the country. Currently 5% of all traffic uh, is coming from around the globe, uh, including emerging markets like uh, China, India, and the Philippines. And uh, two thirds of the, of the global traffic is actually coming from the US. Canada is a very attractive uh, country for real estate for all the reasons we're uh, familiar with. Uh, quiz, what percentage of Canadian realtors have worked with an international client in the past 12 months? Who thinks it's 17%? 27? 37%? Okay. So according to our member survey, 27% of Korea members have worked with uh, an international client uh, in the past 12 months. 
Um, and this is where the international clients are, are coming from. So this is the uh, Ontario uh, uh, data from this survey. So 30% said uh, their primary source was China, 26 the US, and then the UK, uh, India, and Hong Kong. And what's really fascinating, uh, when we asked members uh, what was their primary source of international clients, uh, 58 different countries were, uh, were named as a primary source. That's the uh, outbound, that's the inbound uh, part of international. There's also the outbound. So raise your hand if you uh, have a friend, a family member, neighbor that's bought real estate in Florida, Arizona. Um, I, I'm, I'm more hands, I'm sure that more of you know somebody that's bought real estate outside of the country. Um, I sure do. Um, but according to our member research, only 10% of Canadian realtors have uh, helped a Canadian client acquire uh, real estate uh, outside of the country. And 71% uh, 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 of that uh, group did not receive a referral fee. So there is a lot of money being left on the table um, by, by Canadian realtors. Um, I, I do encourage you, if you're thinking about uh, international, uh, look up the, the CIPS uh, program, Certified International Property Specialist. These courses are being offered around the U.S. and Canada. Uh, in, in fact, um, there's a, a course in a couple weeks in uh, Kitchener-Waterloo. Uh, it's a five-day five course, uh, so it is pretty intense, but you can do some in person, some online to get the designation. You learn how to set up referral opportunities. You learn about cultural differences in different markets. You learn how to work with uh, buyers from these countries. Uh, you learn how to market yourself in, in different markets, so uh, it, it's very useful if you're, you're thinking about international. Any CIPSs in the room? I'm looking your, your way, Richard? Oh, great, here's another one here. So a couple of people you can definitely talk to uh, during the break if you're interested in, uh, in CIPS. Um, if you're using web forms, there is a template in web forms to set up a referral agreement with a U.S. realtor. So if you're going to refer uh, one of your clients uh, to an agent in the States, uh, you should look into this template. Uh, many U.S. realtors uh, do expect to pay back a referral, so uh, don't hesitate to, uh, to ask for that. Um, okay, yeah, just quickly call to action. Realtorlink.international is where we post all our information around international real estate research, uh, some tips and tricks. Trend number five, search is really, really important to your business. So most Canadians start their search for new information using Google, and that includes real estate related content. And more and more consumers will uh, make some very refined searches using Google. So they'll, they'll search for things like condos and college park, uh, college park with parking. So if you want your listing to be found, make sure that you're providing uh, uh, as much information as you can uh, in the listing because consumers are using Google. And from a realtor.ca perspective, um, we're seeing that 43% of the organic traffic coming to realtor.ca, so organic meaning uh, the consumer will start at, at Google, 43% of the total traffic to realtor.ca is actually coming uh, from Google. So focus on, on relevant content. Make sure that uh, in your listing description, description you're including uh, uh, important details, characteristics of the properties, amenities. If you're targeting a specific audience like uh, young families, for example, make sure you're talking about the schools uh, in the parks. Uh, it will improve your, your odds of the listing being found. Um, on Realtor.ca, users uh, are able to, to search for listings using uh, just keywords. Um, we publish the top five used keywords for several cities uh, on a quarterly basis. Um, these are top five keywords um, in six different cities in Ontario, including Oakville. So uh, this means uh, in the past quarter, um, when consumers have been looking for Oakville, these are the top five keywords that they've been searching on. So finished basement, bungalow, in-law suite, walkout basement, parking. So the takeaway here. Uh, if you have a listing that has a finished basement or it has an in-law suite, make sure to include that in the description. It will improve your chances of, uh, of being found. Um, so trend five was search is really, really important. Well, s so is uh, social sharing. Um, I, I know the consumer panel, um, I, I think they all said social wasn't really an impact, but the data is telling us otherwise. Uh, these buttons on the on the right, um, sorry, the arrow's a bit off, but they're 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 used uh, quite often, uh, uh, especially Facebook. 
63% of all referral traffic to Realtor.ca is, uh, is coming from Facebook. Uh, all the other social media sites make up 14%, uh, board sites 13%, uh, and, and brokered sites 7%. So I, I'm sure you've, you've all been told you need to look into Instagram, you need to figure out uh, Snapchat. I'm sure you've heard Facebook is you know, not very cool with millennials anymore. But the fact is, uh, Facebook is, is, still, is still king. Uh, it, it, it's leaps and bounds ahead of uh, uh, all other sites. 50% uh, of people worldwide that get on the internet go to Facebook. So um, it, it does have a big impact on in our industry. Uh, uh, there's, there will be a couple sessions later on, uh, on, on how to leverage Facebook. So I do encourage you to take notes and listen up because it, it could definitely help your, uh, your business. Um, and, and just one final co uh, call to action. Realtor, uh, Realtorlink.ca slash insights is where we post uh, all these reports. I, I saw a lot of people taking pictures of the top keywords report. We have that available at the Korea booth. It's also available on Realtorlink. Um, so check that out. Um, so I know that was a lot of information in 20 minutes, but uh, please come see myself or my colleague Nicole during the break. Uh, if you've got some questions, and in fact, Nicole will be doing a um, sponsored session this afternoon at uh, 2.50 um, on, uh, on how to uh, use Realtor.ca uh, in your business, so we uh, definitely hope to see you there.